our third alumni athlete candidate is Joseph Alita. He, he is being inducted posthumously, having passed away in 2022. We are honored to induct Joe into the Lobo Hall of Fame this evening and to be joined by his family and friends to celebrate him. Joe played both baseball and football for MPC from 1961 through 1963 and was a standout on both teams. Joe remained a lifelong fan of the Lobos, attending games and keeping track of the team's stats. He was loved dearly by many, a true family man who also made time to coach youth throughout the peninsula while owning a local family-based business. Here with us the, this evening to accept the award on behalf, on his behalf, and share some words is Joe's granddaughter, Janelle Newman. Thank you, everyone. Uh, first, I want to say how honored my family and I are um, to have my grandfather, Joseph Olita, recognized amongst, amongst such highly regarded members of our community. My grandfather would have been elated to be here tonight and receiving this honor. Um, had he been here, he would have had many memories to share about his days on the field. Um, his love for athletics grew from his namesake, his father, Joe Alita, who when he arrived to the peninsula, took a position for the Monterey Peninsula School District as a director of playgrounds and intramural sports. He brought many new programs to the peninsula. With his father being so involved in the community and instilling an appreciation for sports, Joe's love of all sports and the Monterey Peninsula evolved from a young age. But in particular, he loved the game of baseball. He started out playing baseball for Monterey Recreational League uh, with the team Toy Town, where he, according to local articles in his personal scrapbook, was quite the rising star. He then went on to play baseball and football for Monterey High, where he continued to excel. After graduation, he enrolled in MPC, where he also played football and baseball. He was actually the backup for his fellow nominee, Mr. LeCicero, and was also a kicker. But baseball is where his true passion lied. <clears throat> He was a wall behind the plate as a Lobo starting catcher and dubbed the rifle-armed backstop. In his freshman year, he was named the Lone Lobo and selected as the only team member for the All-Coast CJ Conference team, or JC, I'm sorry. His personal claim to fame was the time he got two hits off the now-renowned major league pitcher, Tug McGraw, during his time on the travel team showcases. A memory he proudly shared with his friends and family. He even received a recruitment letter from the Chicago Cubs. But his greatest achievement, not only while MPC, but in life, was his finding his one true love, his wife, Annalita. Their love for one another changed everything for him. They quickly got married and began a family, having two daughters. They built a beautiful home here on the peninsula and a business together. He, along with my grandmother and great-grandfather, owned and operated Anderson Electric, a local business here for 45 years. Even so, his love of, ba of the game still carried on all through his life, and he passed it on to his daughters and granddaughters, coaching them as well as his niece and nephews in Monterey City Leagues. Even tonight, his legacy comes full circle, as I literally just came here from coaching a high school game and passing that love of sports on as his father did to him and he did for me. I just received a text, we won. <laughs> but I can't help but believe that he is beaming down on us with pride. I know that he would be very thankful to the foundation for awarding him this, this evening. Thank you very much.